नमस्कार यहाँहरुलाई कार्यक्रम समायोजनमा स्वागत छ दर्शविन्द हामीले यो कार्यक्रम मार्फत शिक्षा र अन्य समसामयिक विभिन्न जानकारीमूलक विषयवस्तुमा कुराकानी प्रस्तुत गर्दै आएका छौ पछिल्लो समयमा हामीले विश्वलाई एउटा सानो गाउँमा परिणत भइसकेको भनेर यसै कार्यक्रम मार्फत भन्दै आएका छौ र विभिन्न दृष्टान्तहरुले त्यो पुष्टि गरिसकेको छ पछिल्लो समयमा हामीले शिक्षा मन्त्रालयको रेकर्डलाई मात्रै हेर्ने हो भने दर्शविन्द अज यस वर्ष भूकंप र तराई आन्दोलनका कारण विशेष गरी युवाहरु जसले प्लस टु नेपालमा पास गरे र हजारौंको संख्यामा नेपालबाट विदेशी रहेका छन् र शिक्षा मन्त्रालयले हामीलाई दिएको पछिल्लो सूचना अनुसार यो करिब 6-7 महिनाको पीरियडमा मात्रै 30000 भन्दा बढी युवा युवतीहरु विदेश अध्ययनका नाउमा बाहिरिएका छन् र यो तथ्यांक भारत बाहेकको तथ्यांक हो प्रदर्शन नेपाल बाट वर्षे ने हजारों को संख्या में नेपाली और विदेशी रहेका सन उच्च शिक्षा अध्ययन का लागी र उन्हीं हर ले इस तो मानसिकता बनाया का सन विदेशी शिक्षण संस्था हर ले बेबाहरी शिक्षा दीन सा र त्यों शिक्षा अनि उन्हीं हर ले प्राप्त करे को सर्टिफिकेट बाटा उन्हीं हर ले आफुलाई � अब आजको कार्यक्रममा हामीले विभिन्न देशका शिक्षाको कुरा गर्ने क्रममा नर्वेको शिक्षाको सिस्टम अनि त्यहाँ पढ्दाको फाइदा पढ्ने तौर तरिका अध्ययन पद्धति लगायतका विविध विषयमा कुराकानी गर्न लागिरहेका छौ र हामीले कुराकानीका लागि आज कार्यक्रममा निम्त्याएका छौ फिल डाक्टर जान यु सेन्डल इन्स्टिट्युटका एक्जिक्युटिभ डाइरेक्टर फिल डाक्टर जान अर्बन सेन्डल यु आर वेलकम टु दि शो Thank you very much. Would you please let us my viewers about the education system of Norway? In Norway, we have the Bologna degree system, which means that we apply to bachelor, master and PhD degrees. And foreign students are welcome to Norway if they pass the, the requirements for, for attending this uh, university systems. That goes for the language skills and the pre-university uh, educational systems. At the Social Entrepreneur School, IBS, which is a 20 uh, weeks program, we use both. We both lecture the theory and they work individually, separately, with auxiliary questions, which they have to uh, provide answers to. We uh, offer a group work in, uh, in case studies and they do a plenary presentation in front of class. We also invite them to work either theoretically with, with, uh, with the problems to, sol uh, to solve or they can bring in their own projects and we will work on their private projects. Would you mind to enlighten my viewers by highlighting the criteria how Nepalese students can enter into Norwegian institutions? Then are there any mandatory criteria to do TOEFL, ILTS or any other preparation classes? Yes, they need the international uh, criteria like TOEFL. They have to participate fully in class and be active in class. That means they have to answer questions, uh, to participate in the discussions and do all the group works. And we offer uh, written exams, oral exams and group exams. And they will have to pass all of those three examinations. Okay, Dr. Zan, can you just let us know about your institution as well? What does it do? Yes, I am the owner and I also run my private scientific institute called Philosophy Dr. Jan Usandal Institute. It carries my private uh, family name. I started that institute many, many years ago. It is a uh, scientific institute. It means that I represent the international independent science and the students and practi uh, practitioners are welcome to take their education at my institute. We okay. offer approximately 35 different courses. Okay, Dr. Zan, let me ask you one more question for you, especially about the education system of your country. We have so many debates in our country about the theoretical and practical educations. Most of the youths who are going abroad, they normally answer to us that we get practical education in abroad. So just talking about your institution and talking about the education system of Norway, how do you implement practical kind of approach and methodology in your education? Well, we, at the institute, we work only with innovative pedagogy, which means uh, we use dynamic uh, principles in the education and in the methods. And everything we teach and uh, educate from is based on uh, innovative and independent science. Could you please let us know how many Nepalese students and how many international students are studying in your institution? Uh, in Norway, we don't have very many international students. And that is why we bring the courses and education out to the world. At the moment, I am building an international university network. 
It consists at the moment of eight different universities spread around the world, comprising approximately 85,000 students and 20,000 faculty members. Let me take an advantage as you are here in Nepal by asking a question that you, uh, do you have any particular experience of Nepalese students or abroad students? How they are feeling, how they are studying, how they are doing? Can you just share more details? At my institution, they can apply for attending any course that we offer. Um, half of the courses, approximately, are taught in English. The rest are taught in Norwegian. So I will guess it's more practical for them to take the English uh, teaching uh, courses. And they can apply, and if they have an uh, entry visa to Schengen, they can come to Norway and take the courses at our institute. Especially for those students who are from developing regions, they normally expect the scholarships any, or any kind of subsidies. So do you have that kind of provision to those students, or particularly Nepalese students, if they wish to study in your institution? Um, the institute is uh, privately owned. So sometimes we give uh, scholarships to qu very qualified and interested individuals so they can come and, and, and study for more or less free. Um, but they can also apply by the governmental uh, system. So they are the right one to tell about uh, the limitations there. Okay, Dr. Zan, can you just let us know about the international association or affiliations or tied up of your institutions to any sort of other universities or institutions of other countries? Yes, it is. Most of the eight universities cooperating in the university network system offer ECTS and the program of the Social Entrepreneur School IBS, which is a 20 lesson, that means 20 weeks full time studying, will be offered approximately 30 ECTS. It depends on the university and the country and, and their internal educational system. Dr. Zan, I almost came at the end of the show, but before wrapping the show, let me ask you about your interest to the Nepal, because Nepal is also growing into education sector. So do you have any plan and provision to do something in Nepal? Yes, that's right. We already started with a contract with two colleges here in Kathmandu. And um, I'm here this time to lecture two classes, altogether 60 students. They are very qualified and interested. So they will go through the whole social entrepreneur school, pass or probably pass all the examinations, and then be graduated and awarded the title Social Entrepreneur IBS. Finally, what's your message to my viewers who are watching you on Nepali television? Well, they should collect all necessary information. They can do that through the internet. They can Google the official uh, websites. Uh, in Norway. Uh, all informations are there in English and also other languages. And those who are interested in uh, uh, taking their education at the private institute, my private institute, are welcome to contact me on my website. Dr. Zan, thank you so much for your valuable time and information. Have a great time here in Nepal. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Thank you.